Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this was a uh, request. Um, so Perch did a video on this earlier today, and somebody watched it, and they said, uh, I watched his video, but I still don't quite get what went wrong. So we're going to talk about that. Before we do that, is this you? Uh, just started getting out to backers. Please send me your pics. This is basically my favorite part of a campaign when this happens. Oh my gosh, it's so uh, amazing. And um, all of Grand Bazaar has been lettered. So the print file is being assembled right now. And another surprise campaign is um, launching probably tomorrow and com all the art complete. So um, this is uh, the first issue of uh, Strange. It's uh, the Slow down, you might freak out. They've replaced a man with a woman. Yeah, that's fine, nothing matters. Now, on the one hand, it's Clea, who is a good replacement for Doctor Strange. On the second hand, Clea is just written like every snarky woman on TikTok these days. So it's it's Clea in name only. But anyway, um, so uh, Perch was talking about how uh, it was just not good. Like across the board, it was not good. and. There's this thing, uh, it's Jed McKay, who literally, like, every other series he does is good, and then the other ones are just really mediocre or bad, and in my opinion, <laughs> when that happens enough times, it's like uh, Leo Williams. It's like, hey, I remember when you did a good miniseries three years ago, and you've gotten monthly work since then, and it looks like that was a fluke. So it's not quite a fluke since he, every, you know, like every other one, but it's like you have absolutely no consistency. It's like, what are we doing here? So anyway, um, I saw a tweet thread where people were showing like the worst panels. And interestingly enough, in this one, they're not bad. Now here's the problem. I'm going to attempt to explain this. <laughs> But I can't guarantee I will be successful because essentially this will be very nudgy. The other problem is once you're scrolling, but then when you zoom in, like you can't go back and forth anymore. Um, so the main things to notice are things like this uh, picture of uh, Clea because Dr. Doom looks pretty solid. Um, now there's a couple things right here. Number one, women are extremely difficult to draw. Because you can't just throw a scar, stubble, wrinkles, all kinds of stuff like you can with, with a man. They say every line ages a woman 10 years. It's not exact, but it's pretty darn close. The I know, um, well, some artists like it and some are kind of offended. When you do a paint over, when you're like, hey, just do this or make this arm longer. And sometimes I've done paint overs of women and it's basically removing almost all lines except for literally the bounding line on the outside of her face. It's like you're going to draw eyes, two nostrils, a mouth, and like a hint of the nose, but don't even draw the entire nose or she's going to start looking like she's 40 or 50. So what I will say is, you know, if you've ever bought um, a, a stylus, you know, back in the day they would say, what would they say? 1,048 levels of sensitivity, and they, they, you know, double it and double it, and now it's 4,000 levels of sensitivity. But the deal is that your hand, and, you know, using an implement like a pencil, has effectively infinite levels of sensitivity. Um, uh, a pencil is graphite, which is not black or white, but is different shades of gray. It also, it is common when you draw to run over the same line multiple times. So you're getting a line that is never black and never white, it's shades of gray. But then you're getting a line over itself multiple times to make the, you know, the darker or more the prominent lines. And then <coughs> you get stuff like your hand picking up the graphite and smudging it onto what should be the empty parts, which weirdly enough helps you out. If you look at Doom's cowl right here it's just a straight line but you see these little it's almost like he shaded it like something you would see on fabric and it gives it some life 
Whereas when it becomes inked, it's essentially just a straight line and it looks like some sort of box. The other thing, and I would say probably the number one problem here, is it's drawn analog. It looks like it's drawn on Bristol board. And it looks like it's inked digitally. So you're going from infinite levels of sensitivity to a couple thousand, but I mean, realistically, it's gonna make it pretty <coughs> binary. And then you're gonna <coughs> switch it to, you know, a bitmap or a PNG, and that's gonna take a lot of the, uh, the subtlety and the softness and the naturalness away from it. As you see, this hair looks, I mean, it's stylized a little bit, but it looks like hair. You know, it's different than uh, the skin, the jaw, and the cape. But then when you see it uh, inked, most likely digitally, uh, it looks um, very kind of, I don't know, crispy. It doesn't look like hair. It maybe looks more like hay. It looks more, it looks like a drawing. It looks more graphic. Whereas if you look at this panel long enough, you'll just kind of adjust to it. And you're kind of like, okay, in this world, this is what. And then you even see like, um, so you see right here that you don't see much of the pupil. You're seeing mainly the lashes because this is a fairly small, um, this is, I mean, this is an inset. This isn't even the whole page. So this is a inset panel, two inset panels to most likely, which was a splash if you saw the full page. And um, yeah, so you, you kind of barely see her pupils, but then for some reason, uh, he wants to make it a lot more prominent. Um, and we're not seeing a lot of variation in the line quality. You know, a line, uh, one of the TikToks I'm seeing is someone do racing stripes freehand on trucks. And, you know, you're just supposed to be impressed with how steady his hand is. But what I like is how not steady it is, that it is clearly drawn by a human. It gives it a nice warm touch. So if you look at uh, a lot of these lines, I mean, even stuff like with the, you know, whatever you call it, the spike on the collar, it's thin at the end, it gets thicker, and then it gets thin again, but it varies consistently throughout the entire thing. Whereas when it's inked, it's almost the same flat line width, and it doesn't look like it's, it just looks like it's a random design maybe on the wall. So it, it loses its subtlety, its humanity, its warmth, and it becomes graphic instead of being something that is a representation of the world and consistent with the other parts of the world. And can someone please tell me why once you... Okay, so I guess you got to go all the way back. So again, like you look at the woman and this one in particular, it's a good drawing. I would still... I mean, I'll just do it right now. If I were to do a paint over, you know, I would say like, you know, Clea is probably supposed to be, what, about 25 or so. So let's go ahead and make a... Custom pen. Okay, so I've done it. It's still set up from the last time I did this. So you take this little furrow right here because she's not supposed to be a villain. She's it's supposed to be like I'm in charge and I'm girl boss of magic. So we're gonna take away that 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 Go ahead and take away this one, too You don't need that. I don't know why they emphasize this this Yes, go ahead and get rid of that now. It probably would have been better if I would have done a sample can I customize and can I do that? No, I can't do a sample. Um, but you kind of see what I'm saying. Like, oh, this one. Yeah, this has got to go as well. That right there. Now, if this white was, you know, blending with the rest of the, the gray that's supposed to be white. But you see what I'm saying. You take out a lot. Even stuff like this, I would get rid of that too. Get rid of that sh shadow. Get rid of that shadow. And... I mean, really, just get rid of all of it. You're just basically going to have a hint of a nose. Stuff like that. Now, I remember Perch kind of zooming in on small panels, and he's like, he's like, this is very inconsistent from panel to panel. Well, this is a thing. When you get farther away, you're going to remove detail. That's why you don't see all the fingers drawn here. But despite all the extra lines right here, this is supposed to be a young, pretty woman. This does not look like a pretty woman. It's, it's very sharp features. 
and it really doesn't match her at all. But they, again, you look at the hair, the hair is nice and soft, uh, but it's a different texture than the, uh, you know, the, the cloak. And um, so that's the main thing I have to say. It, it, and again, you get right here, and the hair that looked nice and soft right there looks crink crinkly and like hay, and it's just like some weird kind of graphic. She's got way too many lines on her face. Those needed to be de-emphasized. Um, even stuff like this, like little wrinkle inside the shadow, and then the shadow having like two bumps. Um, the whole thing about, um, you know, she's in her 20s, everything should be smooth, not a lot of wrinkles. And, um, but it, it's, it's fairly subtle. When I first saw the examples, it looked like the inker had just absolutely butchered it. But I wouldn't really say. It's more that the problem is he's inking digitally and he doesn't have that, you know, infinite levels of sensitivity to his uh, ink stroke as uh, the original artist does with their pencil. So um, I know back in the day, I mean back in the day, 15, 20 years ago, they used to do digital inks which were actually just a, uh, essentially a filter or adjusting the levels on pencils. And honestly, they looked pretty good. Now you do have to tell the penciler you're not going to have an inker, you know, uh, because remember when I was showing you like that the the penciling had variations in the line width, like on this uh, cloak. Well, some pencilers will not do that. They'll just do you know just one even thing, and it's up to the uh, inker to say, okay, I'm going to make it thicker right here and then it's going to get thin as it gets pointy and then pointy to thicker right here stuff but then again also since you're drawing it by hand there's still going to be a variety in the thickness and the weight of the line so um it's you know once again digital inks very few people uh, are good at it um but you never have to worry about spilling <laughs> an entire uh you know a jar of india ink as used to happen. Have you ever seen the pictures of an artist who has the jar of India ink and they literally have it taped down like some sort of serial killer because that's just happened too many times. But um, ultimately my point is that it's not that the inker butchered this because people are tending to focus just on quote the worst panels which is really the worst parts of some panels. But it's just an illustration, no pun intended, of the uh, severe lack of sensitivity and uh, humanity to digital inking specifically. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will probably be launching a new campaign tomorrow.